guys. I hope you guys are well. Anyway, it is a Friday. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. I am exhausted. It's just been one of those weeks. It actually wasn't too bad. I just, I was just ready for the week to be over. So I am not complaining. We are drinking nice things over here. Can you hear? Hmm. Got a clink, clink. Hmm. So good. So, yeah. My Friday nights are boring. I'm indoors. Not doing much. We are doing one thing to, today. Sikulula. Le twist as you can see shame it is time no it's time shame and i've accepted and i think you know this hairstyle has served me well but no it has to go so i'm gonna do that and then i and is okay you are um i'll see what i can eat and then I'm gonna probably just catch up on some of my favorite YouTubers, maybe watch some series on TV. I don't know. Kind of just wanna be in bed and warm because it is so cloudy. It's actually winter now, like, I don't even regard it as autumn anymore. <laughs> I think it's time to switch on the electric blanket. We are within winter, except Sikangoko. So, tonight, yeah. I think, I, I don't know why I haven't had it on this whole time. I was just like, no, it's not that cold. It's not that cold. Sleep with a gown. Mink blanket duvet. How? I could be warmer, you know? Not putting myself through that again. So, we're going to do that. And, yeah, guys, honestly, the action... <laughs> the action um there's gonna be probably a lot happening tomorrow as on sunday no there's nothing happening um so just gonna take you along for the ride <laughs> finally done oh this hair shame i wasn't taking care of it like i can see it's really dry and damaged oh this is 
not a cheap look at all yo i don't even know what am i gonna do obviously i'm gonna have to detangle it properly needs to be washed thoroughly conditioned Ugh, there's just a lot going on so yeah um i'm not sure if i'm gonna show you guys washing my hair you'll probably just see it looking cute i don't know if i'm gonna even have time to wash it tomorrow because i have to wake up like super early when i say super early i say six and that's like really early for me because i have to take the kids to church tomorrow they have class so i don't know let me think about it and then we'll see but definitely we can now do something about this okay guys i will see you tomorrow good morning everyone i hope you guys are good um i slept really well the electric blanket was um it was a good time but <laughs> I could have actually taken it to two. I actually slept with it on one. Because three, uh, it was just too hot. I was burning. So, um, yeah, I wish I'd slept with it on two. But, well, we're here now. We'll try again tonight. So, this is how my hair looks this morning. I didn't wash it because i actually woke up like pretty early i woke up at six o'clock but it was so cold like i didn't want to get out of bed so um i was on my bible app reading the bible reading um the verse of the day and then by the time i know it, it's half past six and in my head i was like okay i need to leave the house by half past seven because i need to go fetch the kids and take them to church so i was like i don't have time to wash it so i just like put a bit of water Try to like comb out the knots and everything. I mean, it's still very dirty, but it looks, you know, decent. So as I'm getting ready, um, my brother-in-law calls me. He's like, no, don't worry. I'll take the kids. I'm like, okay, cool. And I'm up now. <laughs> no, but it's fine. Like, um, there's plenty of things for me to do so that is fine so i'm not sure if i'm gonna have to fetch them from church or not we'll see what happens and then later today i have to go to them anyways because my niece she's starting driving lessons with me boop, boop, boop. need to brush up on my k53 as well but it's like very like informal obviously just to you know teach her the ropes and whatnot so actually i think i should just read up on that so that i'm teaching her the right thing because we all know where to get our license k53 goes out the window so let me teach the child right from the beginning um what else are we doing today yeah honestly i probably this about it so i just thought i'd update you guys um let's see where this day takes us we are on the road i'm going to fetch lissadi my niece from school and then probably like just have lunch she's probably also just tired let her chill a bit and then we're going to start the driving lessons guys i had the best saturday morning i've ever had in a while so obviously you know i didn't end up going to take the kids to church and yeah i started reading my book so actually i had started reading it a while back but like the story was just like taking long so it took me a while to get into the book and then today i was just reading chapter after chapter after chapter and i was engulfed in this book it was amazing it was just keeping me on my toes i'm like what is going on it was romance it was thriller it was suspense it was just so captivating 
and it made me realize how much I missed reading. I used to be such a bookworm growing up. Literally, I would spend my pocket money buying books or um, if I didn't have money, I would literally walk to the library, which is, it wasn't close to home. It was quite a walk, 30, 40 minutes walk. And I would just go sit there, read Nancy Drew books because I really loved like, you know, the suspense, detective kind of books. Man, it just took me back. And literally I finished the book. I finished it. I made food like in between, but I was just on it the whole time. And it was just, it was so nice, you know? I think sometimes it is easier for us to consume content on Instagram and YouTube and Twitter because it's just like fast paced quick you can see it in that instant take it all in and be done with it and move on to the next way the book keeps you like wanting to find out more what's gonna happen next you know so I oh, I'm really enjoyed it as you can tell I'm in a such a good mood just from reading a book literally started seeing what book I can read next so I'm excited about that um yeah i just wanted to update you guys um coming to fill up my car i need some petrol okay um where is it no it's not <laughs> Yeah, I haven't filled up petrol in forever. I can't remember if it's on my left or right. No, I think it's on the other side. Okay, let's see if someone is gonna come and help me. What's up, you guys? I am at a shopping center. Um, Linda wanted to buy gifts for people so yeah I'm here I'm in the car um she went with Lissetti Lissetti bought me food she's so sweet so I'm eating a chicken Alabama panino from mug and bean with chips and then I'm also having a Kiwi and watermelon fizz drink or something like that. So good because I was starving and I could see that they're gonna be a while. So, at least in the meantime, I can just eat some food. So good. I'm here to drop off Lindelo at school. Hi. Hey, before I get copyrighted, switch that real quick. Oh. It was fun. Miguel went shopping, but was on the list. So. <laughs> Your turn, John. Come on. Your turn. Yes. yes. Yeah. November. It's so fast. Eh? Oh, she if there was a sister day uh, there actually is mm -hmm. I'm gonna find it <laughs> if there's like international best friends day and all of that there's definitely yeah, there's an the international siblings day I'm gonna google it <laughs> I'm that not means, lying that means we have to buy gifts for each other yeah but I'm always buying you stuff like yeah. randomly I don't even need an occasion I just follow you yeah, no. Mm. Nice. Oh, okay. Oh, the sun is making me tired. So what is happening here? So it's very hot. So we're gonna oh, take nice. these. Please give this one to mommy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take. How I must give it to her like this. I couldn't buy anything to hold. Okay. 
Okay, tell her it's a late gift. Another day gift. Yeah, and tell her it was all my love and appreciation. But I did tell her that the time when we were up for the the lunch she wanted to come. You know who we I hear Lindy? Feel her heart actually hot. Oh, you don't follow me? Oh, you never asked. Yeah, I meant to oh. ask. Hi, go and tell her, guys. <laughs> what can I say? Goodbye. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye. Bye. I'm so upset. <laughs> 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 I'm so upset. There wasn't any milk tots at Pick and Pay. It's a sign, drink water. Pick and pay, isn't it? Pick and pay here. Oh, so, pull them back. Yeah, baby. Nothing is going to happen. Bye bye. Good morning, everyone. We are off to church. Uh, I think I'm like two, three minutes late. But we're going to make it. So. I'm not too worried about that. Thing is, I want to get there earlier because, you know, you have to take your temperature and all of that stuff. So, yeah, I am late, but it's fine. I didn't even update you guys what happened at the end of yesterday. So, yeah. Yeah, the driving lessons with Lissady went well. And then afterwards... Um, I just chilled there for about an hour because my sister hadn't arrived so I just wanted to wait for her just to see her say hi and then um, yeah then I left it was probably around 6 and yeah quarter past 6 around there then I got home at like 7ish then yeah i was just watching tv i saw the scepters were on so i saw a bit of that and then i was watching my favorite series <laughs> you guys probably sorry so one of my favorite series is law and order svu special victims unit yo my girl olivia benson oh i love her so much so yeah I am. Um, I just. I think I just finished season thirteen, if I'm not mistaken. So, there you go. My boyfriend is always just like, "How do you watch this thing?" He's like, "I don't get it." I'm like, "It's okay. It's not for you. It's fine." I actually miss Detective Stabler, but that's not the point. So there's like twenty two seasons. Well, currently this current season that's playing the new one is season twenty two. So. Yeah, I still have like quite a long way to go, <laughs> but um, I'm not worried about that. It is quite a gloomy day. It sort of looks like it wants to rain because it, it looks like the, cl the clouds are gathering. But then also there's, a, there's that bit of sunlight as you can see. The natural highlights you see so it is quite deceiving no guys i do not have any makeup on yeah you see that's why we highlight where like naturally where the sun would hit that's where you highlight this is not a tutorial so i am not going anywhere today after church yeah i'm gonna go home make some sunday lunch um what else did i say i want to do oh i want to wash my wig because me and this fro i mean i really tried to love on her and do my best but sometimes i get really frustrated because i feel like i watch all the tutorials and i still feel like i don't know how to care for her how do i make her softer she's hard she hurts me you know like 
what do I do? So I'm currently dealing with that. How old is my Afro actually? It is. Uh, let me see. She is four years old, guys. Four years old. She's grown, and I haven't cut her in the four years. I've been very tempted to, very, <laughs> especially at the beginning of this year. I think I was like, she has got to go to me where I cannot. In his ear, in my like, I just, I don't have a, also a very high intolerance Sonja I was just becoming so sensitive especially when I go to the salon and they plait my hair I just don't want to be touched sometimes yeah. so I don't know I really don't know what to do if you guys know please give me tips my sister needs some help with this hair so yeah um, I'm about to be about that weight life um yeah i want to take a break from braiding and my scalp just needs to breathe so i'm probably gonna have this hair out for a week yeah and have it out for a week then maybe like thursday friday i'll go do my hair um, yeah, because this Saturday I'm going out with my girls. We're going out for dinner. So excited, can't wait. Um, so you know, I, I want to already have my hair done by then. Um, yeah, all the police are out today, and they're always busy on on sundays i should hope they don't stop me well i have my license my license disc is valid so there shouldn't be any issues really oh i don't have time for this actually because i'm late for church so they mustn't even try me okay we are driving past now Okay, thank goodness none of them spotted me, saw me, so we are good to go. So yeah, some of you guys about my hair. Yeah, I'm about to just snap one of it. It's gonna make my life so much easier. Yeah, probably for June and July, I'm gonna be wearing a wig. And also, it's nice because it's not too hot, and it will be sort of easy to maintain and when i go to the gym at least i know that like, i can just take it off rock my conros you know sweat it out because yeah yeah going to the gym with those braids and then afterwards they just smell so much oh, it was actually disturbing me so yeah my car is that my car i received yes. yeah whenever i see like cars that i like drive past me or specifically two cars let them go through like just let them pass you let receive all of that <laughs> okay i am entering the church gates about to sing the lord's praises hallelujah Jesus is Lord So I just got out of church There's a bit of traffic um, But it was amazing You know it was one of those sermons Where you're like man I need to do you know more for God So the title of the sermon today Was Church on Fire And how we can't conform to this world we need to be the ones who change the world we need to be the ones who transform the world you know we need to stand out and be um do not be ashamed of being a follower of jesus christ and don't be timid and 
basically just not being quiet about your faith and obviously that doesn't mean like forcing Jesus onto people or like imposing your beliefs on other people but you know letting people know where you stand and this is what you stand for this is what you believe in and you are not going to um change to suit other people or try to fit in you know and also you know um the preacher touched on just being on fire for god being on fire for the things of god like when god touches you everything changes you don't even need to try oh i need to stop doing this i need to stop doing that automatically that just happens because because god has changed you in a way that no man could you know and always just remembering what it's about why are we here and when we die unfortunately or fortunately you know we we all die the same and everything that we possessed here on earth we leave it it's nice things to have but don't let those things have you have your heart have your soul um don't let those things be lord over your life there's only one lord over your life and just giving god all the glory and honor and when you lift up his name he also blesses you in ways that you never even thought were possible so that was basically the gist of the message and it's also just an introspection for me you know to continue to surrender fully to god not partially and i think sometimes you know we struggle with that because we like to have control over things we like to know how is this going to work out and you want to plan things according to your schedule and your timetable and then god shows up and he changes everything and he's like no i'm done um <laughs> no can do this is not how things are going to work and it's even better than you thought so god is just beautiful in that way it was a blessed blessed service i am so blessed i want to come to the evening service as well so i'm excited i'm excited i'm gonna go home now i'm gonna make some lunch i wanna wash my wig if i don't do it today i'll probably never do it so I need to wash my wig i decided i'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow Yo, it is, it's so cold and the thought of washing my hair just sends shivers down my spine. Like, it's just too cold. Yeah, Sean, it's very dirty. So I need to do that. I will see you guys at the house. I've just changed out of my formal wear. Yo. So I'm like searching for which wig i want to wear right how one comes out two comes out three comes out i just realized i have six wigs i was like what in my head i literally had like three or four <laughs> there were wigs i had forgotten about completely so i have this one this is the one i wore for my graduation um i actually bought this at china mall and then I have this one. Conjure, where did I buy this one? I think it was exclusive version here. No, no, no. Because I reviewed this one. This one was from... Conjure, what's the place? I'm going to put the name. And I'll put a card up to show you guys the video of when I reviewed this one. So it's been a minute, I haven't worn her in a while. So there's a long one and a short one, you know, in case I want to change it up. So I'm going to wash both of them, condition them, you know, give them some love because Shane, we've been sitting in plastics for months. So that's what we're going to do.
hey guys it is actually monday morning i didn't even update you guys what happened so i went to church and then um my friend was there to me so afterwards we ended up going to mcdonald's just to chill catch up it's been a minute now if you're wondering what is happening here i am washing my hair so i'm using the l'oreal alviv shampoo and yes guys this is for natural hair it's written down here below very dry curly afro hair and then right now what i have on is the curl nourishment mask so this has let me see what it says it has alma oil so it smells amazing it's gonna make my hair very soft so I'll just leave it in for like five ten minutes or so i'm gonna wash it all out and then let my hair air dry and then i'll moisturize later so let me quickly go wash this out wash down my body and i'll be right back finally done here it feels like it took for ever so after rinsing out that mask i decided to start um plaiting my hair while it was still wet because it's a bit easier and it doesn't hurt as much so afterwards i just let it dry i took a cotton shirt or t-shirt whatever just anything cotton and i used it to dry my hair and then i used some hair oil and my oh this laptop <laughs> i used hair oil and my what is it my sheer butter from the dark and lovely own natural range so yeah it feels nice and soft it's really long like my hair has grown so much i am closing out the video here thank you guys for watching this vlog i know it wasn't very entertaining or there wasn't really much happening but i tried to give you guys you know a little something something so i hope you appreciate the effort our subscriber for the week goes to pumla Bete. i hope i pronounced your surname right thank you so much for subscribing if you would like to subscribe hit the red button down below it is free of charge and also please leave me a comment down below of whatever videos you would like to see coming up and please give this video a big thumbs up I love you guys so much. May your day be ever flawless as your makeup.